Hello friends, welcome to my channel Engineering Solutions. In this video we will see the types of motions. Basically there are three types of motions. Completely constrained motion, incompletely constrained motion, and successfully constrained motion. Let's see one by one with their animation. First completely constrained motion. As name suggested, in this type, the motion between two links is constrained in one direction, irrespective of the direction of externally applied forces. Let's see the example. As shown in diagram, the square block has square hole, and square bar is placed in that hole. In this example the square bar can reciprocates, but even after applying force to rotate it, it will not rotate. Now let's see the animated video. Second type is incompletely constrained motion, in this type the links may have more than one motions with respect to each other. And this is depend upon the direction of externally applied force. Let's see the example. As shown in diagram, the round bar is placed in circular hole. This is example of incompletely constrained motion. So it can rotate and also reciprocates depending upon the applied force. Let's see simple animation. Third and last type is successfully constrained motion. The type of motion which was incompletely constrained, by some external means if it is become completely constrained then it is known as successfully constrained motion. To understand more clearly let's take the example same as taken in previous incompletely constrained type. Only change is that, two bearings, at both end of the block are provided to restrict linear motion of rod. Because of these bearings the rod is restricted from linear motion and only allowed to rotate. Thank you for watching this video. We will meet in next video with other engineering topic related to, mechanical engineering. Let me know if you want any specific topic.